Ever wondered what life will be like in 2020? Just Imagine has been on a journey of discovery to meet visionaries whose ideas could go on to form our future. A journey into the world of science, design, and communication, asking what it will take to make these dreams a reality. And who exactly will benefit? Just imagine the possibilities. I think that the most powerful work happening in the world right now is all happening online. Nanotechnology might really make the difference in terms of the availability of healthcare for both developed and developing countries. I believe that solar energy will take a major role in future clean and inexhaustible energy supply systems. So come with me as we take a leap into the future. In Seattle, in North America, Alex Stefan is world-changing, creating an online global community with one big goal. What the internet does is it basically allows a small group of people to put their best ideas out there and sort of let the world decide whether they're worth paying attention to. Basically, my job is to help people learn about new solutions, new innovations that are coming forward that can help us solve the planet's biggest problems. Worldchanging.com is an online resource that gathers ideas and information from collaborators and correspondents across the world. It is an example of a new type of community existing purely online. Well, the planet's biggest problems really have to do with sustainability. And they have to do with environmental decline, global poverty, disease, conflict, and so forth. And really, they're all interconnected. It's one big problem, which is that the way we're doing things can't go on. It's unsustainable. The planet's ready to work with us if we're ready to think differently. But we do have to make that jump and start to do things in new ways. I don't think that you could do a project like this without the internet. We have managed to create a very well-read, if not comprehensive, at least wide-ranging publication online with essentially no money and a very small staff. And in days past, there's just simply no way you could have gathered together a network of people like this. I think that the most powerful work happening in the world right now is all happening online. And that when you look at the kind of ability for people to self-organize and connect and share ideas and meet people, and sometimes that meeting with people is simply, you know, people looking for a date or looking for a way to sell their used car or whatever, but it trains people in communicating and talking with one another. The impact of online communities as we move into the digital age will be immense with technology promising to remove borders, restrictions, prejudices, and preconceptions, will the technology of the digital age be the great enabler of the future? If we embrace technologies that are proprietary legally, that are closed off, that are meant to profit the few at the expense of the many, and that are meant really to go after the highest end of the market rather than serve everyone equally well, then we probably won't see much fairness emerge out of some of these technologies. On the other hand, there are an enormous number of people out there who are creating technologies that are explicitly designed to make the world a fairer, better place. If we embrace ideas like open source software, where my improvements to a piece of software can be built upon by you and by the next person, and we end up with a piece of software that's much, much better and free. Or, for example, sharing networks like the Open Architecture Network or Wikipedia or any of these other efforts, which are really about sharing knowledge freely through the collaboration of everyone. If we go that route, then in fact, I think we could end up seeing real progress and, and see poverty alleviated and see environmental problems reduced through the use of technology. Ways in which we communicate and share knowledge will be increasingly significant in the future. Across the globe in Tokyo, Japan, visionary Yasuaki Sakyo is tearing up the textbooks and redefining the way we learn. There are many problems around us in society at the moment, environmental, energy-related and health-related. We need to study in order to solve these problems. I believe that studying is important for achieving happiness and enriching the life and the society of all of us. Education and learning sound very stiff and serious, but they can also be fun and interesting. Through knowledge and learning, you can change yourself and as a result enrich your life. 
With these principles in mind, Sakyo founded Shibuya University in 2006. With 5,000 students already enrolled in lifelong open access education, no exams, no fees, no university campus, this university explodes the old traditions and expectations one might have of further education. I thought I'd like to do something that is important for community and can improve community. So I developed the original concept of Shibuya University. Shibuya University is a kind of grassroots educational establishment. We don't use regular school buildings. There are lots of differences between Shibuya University and regular education in Japan. Put simply, in a regular education system, teachers teach and students study. These roles cannot be reversed. Shibuya University is different. Everyone can learn by sharing knowledge and experience of each other. In some areas, teachers are students, and students can teach. In other areas, it's the opposite. What is distinctive about Shibuya University is that it makes use of all the local resources. This can be people, buildings, and anything that is going on within that, which is educational. Shibuya is simply packed with resources like this. Our classes are the places we go to have fun. Our campus is the street where we stroll around. In the future, Sakyo sees a time when this could benefit the wider global community. I hope that Shibuya University can improve communication among people and enliven the local community. In the future, it would be great if Shibuya University was copied around the world. Networks and connections are our basic principle. If Shibuya University could connect with a similar system overseas, then we could all learn from each other. If we can do this, then just imagine how people's daily life and society will improve. The power of education is endless. In the future, an increased ability to share knowledge, coupled with dramatic technological advances, will bring about immense benefits for our global community. From innovation in the classroom to innovation in the science lab, our next visionaries are thinking big and small to bring changes that could see enormous benefits for us all.